Hey everyone, this is Amol from How It Works. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is my first video of uh, my Intune playlist. Uh, today I am going to show you about Intune Endpoint Manager and you clearly see this is the Endpoint Manager and you can open this portal from admin.microsoft.com and straight here. But before that you need to have an Intune license to yourself and uh, all users so that uh, they can use this Intune feature. Uh, to open this Intune portal, basically you click on this Endpoint Manager and you will see the Endpoint Manager dedicated portal for Microsoft Intune. So previously uh, the name and the currently also this Endpoint Manager, uh, but uh, you can open the same URL with the, you can open the same uh, portal through the intune.microsoft.com and you will be landing on the same page uh, like a previous okay so these Microsoft is going to change uh, the name of endpoint manager to Microsoft Intune admin center so this is the same same year no, no difference is the only the URL is different okay so endpoint.microsoft.com now it is intune.microsoft.com so just keep in uh, mind yeah uh, okay, basically I will tell you how to get started uh, with the Intune and how you can enroll your first device without uh, any complicated or complex uh, setup. So basically you need to have first the Intune license. Once you have an Intune license, then you will see this Endpoint Manager uh, tab and then you open this. First thing that you need to check when you on the Intune portal on very first time, then that time you go to the devices and then click on the windows and click on this windows enrollment and then just click here automatic enrollment and there you need to see this this there is if there is a limitation or uh, it is selected to none or some but basically this details you who uh, in the organization can enroll those devices so if you select all the all users can enroll their device by their username and password so this is the main main setting so you need to check and i will tell you uh, the later part of the not this video but uh, at the end of my this playlist that how you can restrict the users from this enrollment how how you can use these settings uh, in context of security uh, so i'll tell you that later on but right now we will selecting this all all so all users can uh, enroll that 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 is the only settings that you need to look before you enroll your first device now uh, what second thing you need to have a group but uh, this is the very first and very basic uh, enrollment so i'm not going into that but while and the the next video will while we go on progress that time i'll show you how to create a dynamic group and how you can uh, apply few settings to few targeted devices targeted users so yeah we will do that later on but now um, i'll show you first app okay so you need to go here app and i'm right now i'm just only talking about the windows platform windows devices okay so now you need to do a application you need to have a one application so i'm going in okay now follow this app then click on the windows and then you'll see the all the windows applications now as this is a demo tenant and i do not have any applications uh, there was a few but i deleted uh, everything and make this tenant very uh, completely fresh so uh, so that i can show you everything from the beginning uh, now i'll just add basic application that is uh, microsoft apps okay so this is select as it is default everything no changes uh, everything is default and 32 bit channel i'll just select this and update channel monthly uh, semi annual enterprise so i don't want uh, updates comes every month and this is again the basic and i'll i'm selecting all devices or you can go for the all users okay uh, all users basically see the when you 
when you put this for the all devices it's basically it it, it install the ones okay and when you go with the all users it basically it will check on the if if the one device is used by multiple users then every users uh, login on the login session it will check for that user that application is there or not you know and it will download and install try to install okay but it's already installed it will uh, stop but it will check every time but if you go with the all devices it will install very first time and then it will not uh, keep checking you know on every login so i always prefer if there's some some application like this it's only need to be have on that machine and not uh, every, every user log at, at every user login i need i don't want to check so this this kind of applications uh, you can target for devices and any specific application that only the users need then you can go with the users or the all group or, or uh, add a specific group for that target uh, users okay so i'm right now this application i'm installing for the all use all devices and then i'm just create i'll create this one application then uh, the security go to the endpoint security and uh, the baseline security security baseline the i i always have this policy uh, as a baseline for all devices so i go with this and create a policy and i'll type this uh, windows 10 11 uh, windows 10 baseline policy very simple no drama and this all the settings is already created okay so you don't need to do any uh, anything okay so it's everything is there if it is uh, if it is uh, have if it is this if any settings creating any problem uh, with your uh, devices or the user not able to work or it is blocking something that uh, user cannot work you know Th those kind of settings you can come back and uh, see which settings you want to uh, disable but this is the generally this this all these settings don't uh, stop user from working but uh, as a security point of view all these settings are very uh, good and i always keep these settings as a baseline security for all devices and then i as per the requirement i customize uh, so these are like almost uh, 100 settings that uh, apply on single go okay so i'll click the next next and then again i'll choose the all devices next and create policy so this now we what we have done is one security policy one app that we have created uh, for a office application one policy that we created for the security and that's all you need to do now it's very simple that any user when you reset the machine and uh, when the when you choose the keyboard layout and you join the Wi-Fi and then there is a two options comes for how to what profile you want to do uh, like is a user personal profile or the work school account so you choose a work school account and you log in with your company username and password and that's all and this application will install and all that security will apply yeah this is the basic uh, thing that you need to do and uh, yeah so this is a very basic uh, kind of uh, intune setup and but this is not useful when it is comes to production environment uh, every company has a different requirement and when you do a customization in the intune and that time all the problems and everything uh, start you know right there so so i will tell you the everything uh, about the customization how to install uh, different different application different different methods uh, that you can choose to deploy applications like uh, this windows win32 application line of business applications uh, so th these are the uh, microsoft store applications that how you can install on the uh, end users machine so i will tell you each by each like each point uh, and i'll show you the demo so now yeah so this is a very basic uh, thing you need to do to deploy this is the minimum thing that you can do uh, to deploy your first uh, test machine pilot group for a pilot group and uh, yeah, yeah so you you use this setting first and 
uh, tomorrow video I will show you how to enroll this machine with these settings I'm not going to edit anything so I'll, I'll tomorrow video I will show you the end user experience that how the end user is going to enroll this machine and uh, what he will see okay and I will tell you different different enrollment methods while uh, the this whole Intune thing progress uh, so yeah so just uh, have a look this video and uh, if you have if you have any uh, questions in your mind or any customization you want to do uh, on your endpoints uh, please uh, uh, comment and uh, I will try to mimic this same thing here and I'll try to deploy the same same kind of settings uh, through the Intune okay so yep this is all from this video thanks for watching